usually it's boom or bust. You're gonna lose right away, or you're gonna grind it out until you win. And right now, I'm feeling the grind. Hi. Oh, that, that's a big. Oh, that's a, that. Mmm. I might have spoken too soon. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cat. And for today's episode, things might look a little bit different from where we last left off, because yesterday I recorded an entire video on Battle Cats, and OBS just decided not to save it. I don't know why, I've never had that happen to me before. And it's a little bit disappointing because I did unlock a new Uber, which I'm probably not gonna show to you guys today, because we do have Sea Maiden Rory, which we haven't looked at, we do have this new mystery Uber, and I don't really have enough experience to do anything with either of them yet, so I kind of want to save them to make another episode around them. Today, I think I want to continue with the Heavenly Tower, because the event is back. Last time, I got to floor 14, and I couldn't get any further. Now I think I'm ready to go further. We just need a little bit of prehistoric help. If you missed my last episode on the Heavenly Tower, Floor 14 is essentially an assault of metal units. A ton of never-ending, gigantic metal units that I cannot kill because I don't have very many anti-metal cats. I only have three, and only two of them are damage dealers, one of them being Jurassic Cat Sitter. All around, great cat, cheap, spammable, does critical damage, and I now have the experience and the cat fruit to evolve him. I've never done a cat fruit evolution before. We can evolve him into Catasaurus. His true form evolution increases defense and attack power, and he also gains increased critical chance and range. Sounds awesome. Let's do it. Oh my god, it's like Pokemon. <laughs> oh, please be cool. Yes, he's riding a little dinosaur. <laughs> okay. Catasaurus, you are gonna come in incredibly handy. It's like I said, I don't have that many anti-metal cats. We have Berserker Cat, who is hopefully gonna do most of the damage, Catasaurus to back him up, and Michelangelo Cat, who can knock them back. But other than that, it's mainly gonna come down to luck. I know people like to think the Battle Cats is largely a skill-based game, but whether or not they get a crit isn't up to me. It is entirely up to luck, so this might take a few attempts, or maybe Catasaurus will be enough to carry me through this. Who knows? We're, we're gonna find out right now. I'm gonna start leaning heavily into Catasaurus, I think, and we'll save up for Berserkers later. Maybe we can start killing some of these Cyborg Doggos. There we go. Okay, there's a crit. And more Michelangelo, some meat shields. Okay, there we go. We, we got Berserker out there. Now, just keep them away from the base. Please, please, no. There's so many metal coming. <laughs> I don't like it. I should be spamming everything, honestly. I don't need to just spam anti-metal. Anything will help. The knockback from Paris. Paris is like level 30 now, so knockback is definitely good. Oh, we're actually holding them. We're, we're kind of holding the line, guys. Keep it up. I believe in my cats. <laughs> I'm hearing crits. That's the biggest thing. It's actually working. I can't believe. Okay, Farzik got cannon. Take down those cyborg. Uh, I was gonna say doggos, but not quite. Catasaurus, you're doing so good. They're also not dying. Like, look at all the catasauruses that I have up there. I don't think they're resistant to metal units. Oh my God, did we actually do this? I can't believe it. This took me so many attempts last time, and I never even was successful. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I think we're good, unless there's some kind of giant metal boss. Don't say that. Michelangelo Cat has a whole bunch of underboob and a thong, which I guess helps classify you as a cat. Come on. Yes. No boss. We got there. I don't even care about the rewards. Cat fruit seeds, sure, why not? But we're moving on. Floor 15. I've never been this far. So for floor 15, I have switched to a more general purpose loadout because I'd imagine it's not gonna follow in the footsteps of floor 14, right? Yeah, you are not made of metal. You're actually quite meaty. So I'm gonna send out some meaty cats of my own to shield my base and then probably send out Paris. I got Paris up to level 30, so I feel like I really wanna rely on her even more than I already do. I brought Catsaurus again because I don't know what to expect and he is an evolved form cat. He should be good in most general purposes, I'd imagine. Why are you so strong? This is not a good sign. Usually these guys just melt. I don't like it. Like, I should be looking up these levels on the Wikipedia and, and seeing that there are gonna be angel units and preparing my loadout properly, but I don't do that because 
I just prefer to have my reactions on camera with you guys. Like how I'm getting stomped by this gory right now. That's it. Push him back. I can't even save up money or send out more damage dealing cats because I need to meet shield, please. I only got two Parises. You need to do this for me, Paris. Oh, good knockback. All right, we're getting somewhere. If you can kill one of them and get me just a little bit of money, we might be able to break parity. I am afraid they are gonna spawn. Oh no, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Why is the cats going in? Keep them away and just keep me shielding. Oh, oh, I thought the dog died. It was just in its little attack lying down. Bad dog. Stop sending gories my way. I do not need more angelic harambes knocking on my door. Okay, the, the meat shields are doing a pretty good job. I'm, oh, we killed one. Okay, I don't actually have anything super cheap to send out other than more Parises, but I'll take more Parises. If we could just get a big stack of them, then eventually we're gonna get through, right? I found out yesterday that if you take too long trying to beat a level, they just send out a whole bunch of assassin bears and end your life. <laughs> I had no idea. I spent like, 20 minutes trying to beat a level yesterday. And uh, the game doesn't really like that. They don't want you grinding. So well, I'm gonna have to try to beat this relatively quickly. We're moving forward. We got a whole bunch of Parises. We got Bahamut. We're landing critical damage hits. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we've moved up to the base. What could go wrong? Um, I don't recognize that weird looking Doberman guy. That's probably not good. A whole lot of angels as well. I don't have enough money to send out important stuff, so this is all on you, Bahamut. If you can maybe kill a couple of things right here. Oh, oh, yep, that's a couple of things. A couple of things will get me another Uber out there. Oh, I don't like this. I don't know if my meat shielding is gonna keep them where they are. <laughs> that giant muscly steroid bear is gonna do a lot of work. I also don't know about this Doberman. I've never seen him before. Is he a boss? Is he incredibly strong? Uh, Bahamut doesn't seem to want to blow him up, so that's not a good sign. How are we doing, guys? He doesn't seem to be pushing up too much. My meat shielding is not perfect. How are we? Whoa, doing, guys. What was that? Does he have a shock wave? I thought he just barks. Oh, that's crap. Okay, well, we got all of our units out there now. We're actually earning money. We've killed most of the stuff. It's just the shock wave Doberman. I hate shock wave units. What's the point of a game that revolves around meat shields if you could just make units the cheat? That does not seem very fair. Okay, we need to just upgrade, send out more Parises. If they're not moving forward at an incredibly fast rate, then I feel like I've pretty much won this level. Usually it's boom or bust. You're gonna lose right away, or you're gonna grind it out until you win. And right now, I'm feeling the grind. I, oh, that, that's a big, oh, that's a, that, mmm. I might have spoken too soon. He seems to drop a ton of shockwaves sometimes, and then he dies other times, which I'm fine with. I know we can get through one of these bears. We've done it before. He does quite a bit of damage, but he's slow. You know what? All those roids, that they take their toll in your old age, especially when you're a bear. Ooh, okay. No, we're doing fine. Catsaurus has been pretty good here. I feel like he wasn't a detriment. <laughs> That's really all that matters. Come on, Bahamut, can you please blow him up? Just, just do it for me. Just end him. Oh, yes. Ask from Bahamut and you shall receive. That had to have been the boss, right? There can't be an even larger, angrier doggo in there. Just end it, please. We're moving on to floor 16. I want to get up to floor 20 because then I can get another rare cat ticket, I'm pretty sure. That's how I got my last Uber. So, oh, oh no. These bases have a ton of health now. 400,000? Don't like it, but I think everything is said and done. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm just gonna keep speaking slowly until the base dies. There we go. I'm doing my best not to edit out a whole bunch of these because I know people wanna see as much of the battle as possible. I got three cat tickets, that's actually pretty good. Can we get something good from them? Let's give it a try. Really, it's never anything super exciting, but I feel like you guys should at least see the progression that I make in all fields. Yeah, another level of dragon. I'm down for that. So my dragon is now at level 26. Pretty good. If he gets to 30, I can evolve him, I'm pretty sure. We can get a couple more dragons. I feel like I've gotten a couple of dragons in a row now. Eh, bird. I don't even think I've evolved bird cat at all. Oh no, he is UFO cat but I have plus 10 on him now. <laughs> Maybe I should put some experience in Birdcat. He might actually be strong if I get him to like level 30. Ooh, 
I could actually get his third form. And uh, Cat Cannon Charge. Womp womp. Oh, come on, to challenge floor 16, I need to finish Into the Future Chapter 2? I've been putting that off for so long because we already did Into the Future Chapter 1 and I know it's gonna be the exact same, so if I can't make videos on it, then I don't particularly wanna do it. I would rather do other levels that gain me more experience so that I can use that to make better videos for you guys. I don't even know where I am right now in Into the Future Chapter 2. I guess we can check. Maybe I can spend the rest of the episode doing quite a bit of work over there. I feel like I'm pretty far. Uh, five out of 48. No, that's just treasures. I have been going for treasures. We could get awakened Valkyrie as well. I miss using Valkyrie. She was one of my favorites. So we're in Mexico. How far is Mexico from the moon? Probably as far as anywhere else on Earth, right? Mexico is apparently stage 37, which means I have 11 stages left before I can get to the moon. I figure we should probably do that. People have been asking me to continue with Into the Future. It's like I said, I just felt like it was kind of repetitive, but if people want to go back to stomping aliens, I'm fine with that. I say stomping aliens, but in reality, they never send out aliens. You got little alien maracas is, um... Oh no, there you go, there's an alien crawling out of your guitar hole. What a gaping guitar hole you have, sir. I mean, I can kind of understand why they have it so that Into the Future isn't only aliens. As cool as it would be, if you had a bunch of strong anti-alien cats, you would coast through it. And if you didn't have any, you would struggle quite a lot. So having the variety there is still important. It's just, I don't know, it feels weird fighting full levels of aliens and then full levels of red and then full levels of angels. And you know, give me an alien mix every now and then. I have not been paying very much attention to this. This guy is gonna stomp me right now, aren't you? I did not send out like anything to stop you. I think I just lost. We're gonna have to save up. You're just gonna have to tear through my stuff right now. This music is super intense though. If I can get up to sending out Black Cat, we might be okay. Yes, we'll be fine. I should be able to meet Shield and then take you down. Maybe, maybe, oh, I don't know. Don't let him go. Fire the cat cannon, don't let him get close to the base. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. Okay, this was... Why is this closer than I had expected? This is what you get for now respecting levels in Battle Cats. I always say, respect every level in Battle Cats or you're gonna get your ass handed to you, and I did. Well then, probably should have brought some anti-red to into the future. Let's try that again, except for this time, we're gonna take it a little bit slower. We're gonna let them get up near the base and we're gonna save up money and we're gonna upgrade and send out all of our strong units and then activate the boss. All the stuff that a good Battle Cats player would do, not a YouTuber. You still kind of hurt, sir. Why are you still tearing through my cats like tissue paper? Oh, I don't like that. I sent out everything too. This is not good. This is not good at all. He's not getting juggled. Oh, okay, there's a good knockback. That's what I need to see. I don't know why he's such a strong unit. I did not expect Mexico. Maybe this is why I didn't get any further. Maybe I just lost this guy a few times and said, screw this, I'm going to Stories of Legend, but he just tore through Bahamut and oh, there goes another Uber. Another one bites the dust, come on. You're good against angels and red black hat. You need to be killing this guy. You're like level 25 right now. Oh no, 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 he's still pushing. <laughs> I kind of expected him to die a long time ago. Okay, little, little bit of forehead sweat, there it is. Ooh, okay, well, prove me wrong about these levels being the exact same thing and being boring over and over again. Already gotten worked once. I'm not losing my mind, that was the boss right there we go. Okay. Hey, like, 3,000, oh no, 44,000 experience. Okay, you know what, that's not too bad. I was gonna say, usually you get crap experience from these levels being why I've been grinding Stories Legend, but 44,000, I could take it. Moving on to Hollywood, and hopefully some aliens for me to beat down on, because I am bringing a heavy anti-alien loadout. It's into the future, that just seems smart, right? You got anything for me, Hollywood? Now that I think about it, next episode, potentially beating Into the Future Chapter 2, might be a good video to revolve around the mystery Uber that I unlocked, because it is strong against aliens. I'll give you guys that much of a hint. So this might be for the best. It might also be nothing. 
Hollywood, you got anything going for you? Oh, there we go. Um, that it? Just a uh, little lemur. Okay, well, I guess we should probably send out some stuff and, uh, ooh, that kind of hurt. I think we should be just fine against a single lemur. Between Paris's knockback and Castaway freezing them for seconds at a time, they're not really doing a whole lot but bouncing back towards their base. <laughs> so we got some anti-alien Uber coming down the line. We're probably just gonna end up whacking the base, aren't we? Oh, they're sending out quite a few aliens now. That's what I wanna see. I wanna see an alien invasion and into the future. It only makes sense. Send out a whole bunch of adorable little alien lemurs. Fire the cat cannon right between their cute little eyes. And then we can blow up Hollywood. Now I think about it, why are we destroying the base? We destroying Hollywood? When we destroy Hollywood, do we destroy the aliens there? Nothing adds up in this gigantic cat battle simulator. Now I know that I just said that you should respect every battle cat's level or you will get your ass handed to you. But in this case, I'm probably not gonna do that. Instead, I've brought Dio Ramos, one of the weird dragon ubers that we unlocked a few episodes ago that I haven't gotten the chance to use. He's anti-angel, he's only level one of his first form, so he's probably not gonna be very good here, especially because he costs 6,600 and people have told me he's garbage, but I wanna see him. So we're gonna try to send him out right now and hopefully not lose at the same time. Mods we can handle, Snicks we can handle, Vegas got nothing on us. Uh, black boxers we might not be able to handle. Okay, no, that, that kind of hurts. So now we might be in a little bit of trouble. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save up enough. Oh, yes I can, send him out, send him out, send him out, ship him, ship him, ship him, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> he was probably not the cat to send out there, but he's so big. Look at him. As my base gets pummeled, please use your, your cold breath to blast them. Yeah, look at how, oh my God, he is so slow. He's not only slow attacking, he's incredibly slow moving. Look at him chug his way down the battlefield. He's such a boat. Okay, I, I do understand that he's crap. That's perfectly fine. I'm still really happy to have him. He's an Uber, which is pretty freaking sweet nonetheless. He is a pretty cool looking dragon. Kind of looks like a derpier Bahamut. People told me that his secondary evolved form, like not his next evolution, but his true form, is actually pretty good. One of the better anti-angel Ubers. He has like one of the highest health in the game, the highest damage in the game, something like that. But to do that, I would need to invest a lot. And I don't really feel like investing in making one weird looking dragon another weird looking dragon. Like, I got boobers to evolve, man. Moving on to Alaska. And I feel like there was something weird about Alaska in chapter one. I can't remember what it was. Hopefully it doesn't come to bite me in the, oh right. It's the parade of squirrels. Why is there a squirrel parade? Also, it was the fact that I said that it was a Canadian state. And people were like, oh, it's an American state. I know, I'm, I'm Canadian. I'm aware of what is and isn't a part of Canada. It's, it's attached to Canada. Canada doesn't even have states to begin with. <laughs> but either way, we're gonna kill all those squirrels. American squirrels. Loving this music all the same. I wish they would change up the music in Battle Cats more often because it's good music, it just gets a little bit tiring. Oh, okay. Uh, it, it gets a little bit tiring when you hear the same thing over and over and over again. That's a whole bunch of angels, but my Paris stack is just too thick and too high a level to be dealing with these Harambes. Oh, we can actually fire the cat cannon as well. There we go, bouncing back. Oh, wow, I actually got them all with that cat cannon. <laughs> well, if they're gonna send out angels, then you know who's coming in about uh, five hours. There's actually a lot of angels here. Okay, you know what? He might actually see some action. Let's see what level one Dio Ramos does against a bunch of angels. Oh, he slows them as well. That's very interesting. Okay, I like it, I like it. You're, you're putting in work. I think I'm gonna send out, uh, oh, I should be meat shielding a little bit. I want to send out Dark Merchant Babel because he's good against angels and aliens. Okay, well, it cost us Dio Ramos, but it'll be worth it once he one-shots everything like that. Yep, that, that was pretty sweet. That was exactly what I wanted, thank you. Angels and aliens don't have a very good time against Dark Merchant Babel. Plus, he gives me more money every time he kills something, so that goes a long way. Actually, I was thinking the other day, I kind of want to make a t-shirt that says, Fire the Cat Cannon on it. With 
some kind of battle cats thing, but not quite battle cats to avoid copyright. Would that be something that you guys are interested in? I don't know if people really enjoy battle cats enough or me saying that stupid saying in every single video over and over enough to warrant merch, but I'm always looking for more merch ideas, so be sure to let me know in the comments if that's the kind of thing that you would want around holiday season. I think that's going to be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. Next episode, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. There's so much to do in this game. Like, I don't plan on making a video every couple of days. Usually, I want to space it out by a week, but there are so many events being thrown at us and 100% chance at Ubers and new Ubers that I want to make videos around and I need to beat Into the Future Chapter 2 and I need to beat Stories of Legend and I need to do so many different things that I'm not sure what we're going to do. Maybe give me a little suggestion in the comments if you guys are interested and, and pray that you actually see this video because if I lose another recording, I swear to God. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.